Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I want to sit down and film a good old fashioned skincare anti haul, share with you the new skincare launches that I won't be buying. Now, if I look back just two years ago, I would have probably bought all of these products because I saw something shiny and new, and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. However, I've taken a different approach to skincare. There's two reasons for this, and reasons why I want to film this style of content here on the channel. First and foremost, we've got the international cost of living crisis. The price of everything is going up, up, and up, so I really want you guys to be focused your hard-earned coin on products that are really going to deliver meaningful results in your skincare routine and help you to achieve your skin goals. We've also got to be much more mindful of the environment and our total waste and consumption. I'm really trying to cut back on the products that I purchase so I can maximise the benefits, minimise the cost and of course minimise the packaging and product waste. That's why I love to film this style of video so sit back, relax, let's start some new skincare I won't be buying. Now before we get into this video I would love to know your thoughts, feelings and opinions when it comes to anti-haul style content. Is this something that you find useful and enjoy and want to see more frequently here on the channel? If that's the case let me know in the comment section below and also by giving this video a big thumbs up and a like. That also has the dual benefit of supporting me and the channel because the more likes a video gets the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart thank you all so so much. But I've got an awful lot to say and I want to keep this short sharp and to the point so let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. And first up we have the Mario Badescu lip mask in vanilla. No, no and a firm firm no. Well, let's start with Mario Badescu. As a brand I think the shadiest in skincare history. You know I don't give that title out lightly and I covered the reasons why I think this is the case in a recent video which I'll link up there. I will not give a cent dime or penny of my money to this brand even if they came out with the very best product going. This isn't one of those products though. This is an absolutely terrible lip product and I think feeds into that category of lip balms that actually could do more harm than good in the long term. I've spoken on the channel before about how sometimes we can kind of get trapped in that lip balm cycle where the more lip balm we use the drier our lips seem so we use more lip balm which dries our lips out. That's because a lot of them are packed full of ingredients that could sensitize the skin, strip and dry it of its essential moisture. This poses that risk and there's a lot of things in here that I wouldn't really want to see in a lip balm and there's not a whole lot of beneficial ingredients. I haven't actually stuck this product under the nose but if Mario Badescu's past collections are anything to go by this is going to be so overly fragranced and go probably going to be one of those scents that lingers a whole long time. They want to charge $14 for this. It's absolutely not worth the price. None of the ingredients are actually going to have any long-term benefits for the lips. It's in like AliExpress style packaging. I don't know how they get off charging $14. There are so many better products out there and I captured some of my favorites again in a recent lip balm video which I'm going to leave a link to up there. Check that out. Don't go anywhere near this product. I was so frustrated by the lack of quality lip balms on the market that this year I just resolved to creating my own, which is this, the Mad About Skin Nourishing Lip Conditioner. It's more than a lip balm, it's a conditioner. It's something you can just use in your morning, on your evening skincare routine, and it'll keep you pout ready all day long. Using butters, oils, humectants, calming and soothing ingredients, and some antioxidants to protect the lip, deeply nourish it, and prevent any irritation. This comes in at six pounds, so it's a fraction of the cost of the Mario Badescu one, and you get free shipping in the UK, in some European countries, and reduced shipping for the rest of the world. So I'm here to say, there are good quality lip balms out there. Mario Badescu is not where it's at. Now, should we talk about the Versed Moisture Maker Hyaluronic Acid Serum? Now, Versed, unlike Mario Badescu, is a brand that I've had some success with. I think some of the products are hits and some are misses. You like a lot of brands, you kind of have to experiment with a lot of the line to work out which are the holy grails for your own skincare routine. I don't think this product is going to be a holy grail for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, do we need this much hyaluronic acid in our lives? I've always said on this channel, you know, be mindful of the amount of hyaluronic acid in your skincare routine because a little can deliver great benefits for retaining and locking in the moisture in the skin, but too much and you could get redness, peeling, irritation, and it could actually exacerbate any dryness that you're experiencing. This has so many different forms of hyaluronic acid plus polyglutamic acid plus some plant extracts which are said to have the same benefits of hyaluronic acid. It's just too much for the skin and it's also $20 which whilst that isn't you know that up there when you compare and contrast to some other hyaluronic acid serums on the market you could get a much more affordable and drugstore equivalent to this. I would just say stay away from standalone hyaluronic acids. You've got it in the rest of your skincare routine. Read the ingredients list. There'll be sodium hyaluronate just on about every single product that you use. You probably don't need this and you can save some of your coin by just steering clear of it. Now the most expensive product in this list is the Fresh Tea Elixir coming in at $80 over in the States. That's a ridiculously bougie and high price for the amount of product you're actually getting with this. 
I love a little green tea action in my skincare routine. It's packed full of polyphenols, which are fantastic antioxidants. It can also help to hydrate the skin too. I'm definitely a fan of green, of black, just tea in general in skincare, but you don't need to pay these high prices for it. They justify this ridiculously over-the-top price point by some very clever marketing. They say that this isn't just any old tea. No, no, this isn't your PG tips or your twinings. They've actually scoured the earth for the very best tea and found it in a remote island in the north of Madagascar. They've harvested it and that's what goes into this elixir. It's just a load of old rubbish. <laughs> like, it's like bad marketing 101. I think we kind of moved on from that, left it in the early noughties, and now we kind of understand that, you know, there is nothing special about this tea. There is nothing special about this serum. Definitely look for some green tea action in your skincare routine, but spend something in the region of like 10 to $15, not the $80 they want for their, you know, fresh Madagascan remote island tea. It's not going to pay you any extra benefits, but will cost your wallet quite a bit. Now, we're in the home stretch, but let's talk about the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Alpha Hydroxy Acid Night Treatment. I had to write that down because that is a ridiculously long title. This actually replaces their previously much-loved Watermelon Night Sleeping Mask, which I know a lot of you guys absolutely raved about and said it gave great results. Well, they discontinued that and then brought it back in this new form. And honestly, I think they've kind of made it worse. I've never been the biggest fan of Glow Recipe. I think their price point is a little bit too high. I think they rely on gorgeous looking packaging and marketing and a lot of the ingredients in their line are very same it's like niacinamide on niacinamide on niacinamide and I think that repetition could be problematic if you exclusively shop your skincare from Glow Recipe so not in my I don't think they're deserving of like the cult status that maybe they get However, their previous night sleeping mask was a firm favourite of so many people. While they brought it back, they've increased the amount of watermelon in it, which I think the jury's out on how much benefit that actually gives. And they've added niacinamide. This is so frustrating. Like, the previous night sleeping mask was one of the few products from Glow Recipe that didn't have niacinamide in it. It was probably one of the few that I would have actually tried. But now they brought it back with niacinamide. Every single one of their toners, serums, masks, moisturisers, even their sunscreen contains niacinamide and I just think you know you're going to be overdoing it with this ingredient. A little does go a long way when it comes to niacinamide and you should be using something in a two to five percent concentration. If you compound it like this you're going to end up with a ridiculously high concentration on the skin and it's just not going to give you the results that you want. So I think this is a case of a reformulation that might have actually taken a backward step and I think the original was just better which is why I won't be paying $40 for this product. Now finally let's talk about the Blue Land Facial Cleanser Starter kit. Now, you've probably never heard about this brand or this product, but it's getting a lot of talk online. Quite a few beauty editors have been praising this for how innovative it is in terms of cutting down carbon emissions, you know, transport miles, and all of that good stuff, which we absolutely should be trying to minimize. How this works is you get like an empty bottle, which you can then reuse, and you buy these sachets of powder. You fill the bottle with tap water, you then put the sachet in, shake it about, and you create your own cleanser at home. It's got a 30-day shelf life, which is really good, and it looks to have a really nice gel consistency. This is great because actually if you're buying pre-made cleansers, actually you're shipping a whole lot of water because the average cleanser will be around 50% water. That's going to weigh any plane or cargo ship down, create more carbon emissions, need more fuel and all of that. So actually if you can make it at home, shaking it up with your own tap water, that has to be a benefit. And of course you only have to buy the bottle once. You can then just buy the little sachets to create it again as a refill option. Love all of that. The only reason I'm not buying this is one of the key ingredients in here is kaolin. This is going to be a relatively stripping and drying cleanser used on the skin. For someone that has a super oily acne prone skin type, this could work. But in my experience, kaolin based cleansers even dried out my super oily skin. So I don't think this is going to work for a whole suite of different skin types, which is why I'm not going to buy it. As I'm saying this though, I am thinking, you know what? This does sound super interesting, innovative. and I do love the packaging design, which I've left pictures of. So you know what? <laughs> just as I'm filming now, I might actually put this on order and try it because if this does work, even just for oily, acne-prone skin types, this could be a really nice innovation. I'll keep my eye out in case they launch any other versions of it that might be more suitable for drier skin types. Yeah, you know what? This is an anti-hole video, and I've kind of taught myself into buying this product. What are your thoughts? Would you give this one a try? Do you think I should buy it, put it through its paces? I love and appreciate innovation and anything we can do to save some air miles and our carbon emissions, so yeah. Okay, I am probably going to try this one. So there you have it. <laughs> a little bit of a twist ending to this video. I would love to know what your thoughts, feelings and opinions are on anything mentioned in today's video. So sound up in the comments section below and wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well and love your skin. Take care. Bye.